Hi, Tektronix here. Today we're going to be looking at this guy and how to use it in conjunction with Novation Component Software. We're going to be also looking at how to get packs on there, patches, samples, and we're also going to be having a look at a unique way to transfer patches from the old circuit to the new circuit and the other way around. So without further ado, let's jump in. Okay, so jumping onto the computer, we search for Novation Components. We click Novation Components, the first thing that comes up. Roll down, go to Components, Manage Circuit Tracks. So from here I've logged in, which you can do with Facebook or Google, and you can see all the other packs I've been working on and stuff and released. So let's open up a pack. As you can see, here's all my sounds, patches, and projects. So, if we wanted to take a project from another pack, we could go here, we could go project, we could drag across, no problem. We can do the same with patches, and we can do the same with samples. We could also, for example, go to samples, and we could drag, if we drag from here, so we get this box, and we could replace all the samples at once, which is quite nice. Um, let's go to new pack. Also, if we create a pack, and let's say, I don't know, we drag a few sounds on there. We go into another one. Let's say here. And we drag some more samples in. So we're mixing and matching at this point. And we could say, okay, well, I like the patches from this, so we'll take all the patches. Do you want to overwrite current patch content? Yes. And then from here, we can either send the patches, and if we was in samples, it would say send samples, or send the pack. Same with projects as well. But we'll send the pack. So you find an empty slot, which is this one. And as you can see, it will transfer to your unit. Okay. So now if we went to send pack again, you'll see your pack there. And if we'd have named it, you would have seen the name. Right. From here, if we go into synth, Yes, leave. Create patch. So let's say we create a basic patch and we put filter, resonance. So I've assigned macro 5 to filter, which will open up the filter. And resonance for resonance. And let's say we have filter envelope, some distortion, and let's say maybe a phaser. So I put that on level and choose phaser. Now increasing that, which is macro 8, will increase the level of the phaser, and so on with all of these. So this will increase cutoff, resonance, distortion, and so on. <clears throat> now once we've made that, we have a few options here. We can save it. We can also download it. As you can see, that will be in my uh, documents now, downloads. Um, we have patch settings, where you can choose a category, and again, name it. But we can also send it to the circuit tracks. So we was to pick a pack here, we'll pick this one again. And then here's all the slots. So you can say, hmm, we'll send it to here. Now I'm not going to do it. You would click the one you wanted, and you'll click Overwrite Patch. That's how that is done. And then lastly, we're going to have a look at the patch converter. Now this is really, really good. So in the old days, you used to have to use, well, I say the old days before, the only method was to use um, a program. I can't even remember what it's called anymore, but essentially you'd be looking at hex code, and you'd be just changing one thing. I think you changed it to a four or a six and then all of a sudden it was compatible with the original circuit. But 
there's a new method. And the new method goes a little bit like this. If we go E, music, and I go into my previous packs, and I take the patches. Let's just do page one. And if I highlight all of these and drag them into here, you see they've all come up. And if you roll right down to the bottom, it says convert and save. Now this pack is DMB Foundations 2, which as far as I'm aware, isn't on the original, uh, the old circuit. Yeah, it's only on the circuit tracks. So when I click convert, this is what it's going to do. It's good. It says on my browser, do you want to download multiple files? So I'm going to click allow. And all of those patches have now been converted and instantly downloaded at the same time, which is nice, into my downloads folder, which is brilliant. And this works the same the other way around. So if these were original patches, let's say we went to um, circuit and I think DMB1, nope. Let's go with DBM2. There we go, original circuit. So these are the patches for the original circuit. Let's close this and open a new one. And let's drag all of these into here. And then roll down to the bottom. Convert and save. And bang, they've all been saved. Now these were old ones that have been, been converted to circuit tracks. So if we go to download and we look at the last one that we downloaded, we should be able to just drag this into components now, which is on our browser. I should mention as well, you can. there's also an offline version of components that you can download if you're having trouble with the browser. Um, but let's go back to components. And we'll go to back home. Create pack. Now we're on the circuit tracks, and these these were from the original circuit. They were original circuit pack, um, things. So you see this one, single patch. When I try and drag it, it says this is not a circuit track project. What it is is a patch. And there we go. So that program is really good because it basically batch converts all of your patches to either old or new, which is really interesting. Um, right, I think we've covered just about everything now. I don't think there's anything left. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully you found it useful. Um, don't forget to check out all the other packs on Isotonic Studios. They're really good. Highly recommend them. And thanks for your time.